3,600 pounds for a productivity boost? Is it worth it? Today, we are diving into the Apple Vision Pro to see if this groundbreaking piece of tech can truly transform the way we work and live. I have probably watched over 50 videos of unboxing the Vision Pro and setting it up, but I want to do something different today. So before we get into the nitty gritty, let's head over to Westfield, London. Today is European launch day. The excitement is real. Let's pick it up. Come on, check this out. Let's get this beauty back home and see what it's all about. Shadow case. And... The Apple Vision Pro. That is quite a huge box. Now, I'm no tech reviewer and this video is surely not the one where I suddenly become one. But I do review things around making us more productive or things that help us in our careers. And certainly the things that help bring our work and life into closer harmony. Ignoring the Apple Vision Pro would be a huge mistake. Like it or not, Apple has created a groundbreaking piece of hardware, something entirely new. So today, we are putting the Apple Vision Pro to the ultimate productivity test. I also noticed that everything about the Apple Vision Pro is white, so this shirt is probably not the right choice. Let's change it right now. That's better. Let's get started. If this is about productivity, then it's also about how much, or I'd rather say how little friction it adds in the process of setting it up. What I want to do is see how long will it take from plugging in the battery for the first time to truly setting it up as a remote workstation for productivity. And for that, well, let's bring up the timer and start now. And a few essential apps that you want to install right away is NordVPN for secure browsing, Zoom for seamless virtual meetings, and Notion for productivity and organization. 33 minutes for a brand new product that I haven't worked with before and that needed to be set up from scratch. That's not too bad. And of course, it's part of the Apple ecosystem. So a lot of the things that you typically would have to set up is already saved in the Apple iCloud. So that helped a lot. One of the most promising features of the Apple Vision Pro is its ability to act as an extended monitor for your MacBook Pro. Connecting the Vision Pro to my MacBook was seamless and the multitasking capabilities are impressive. So after using the Vision Pro for a week, how does it stack up in real world productivity tasks? The first thing I can say is that focus and distraction management is top notch. When I'm in there and dial in my environment, I feel that nothing else matters. Yes, you can see the outside world if you want to, but if you dial in an environment and you're just surrounded by it and have your couple of productive screens in place, there's very little that gets you distracted. Maybe you're familiar with the Pomodoro technique. The idea is that starting anything is quite hard, but once you get into it, then things fall into place. So you set a timer for 25 minutes, and after that you take a five minute break. And when I do that in the Apple Vision Pro, I still take my five minutes break, but I can't wait to get back to work. So from that perspective, it gets certainly five stars for focus and distraction management. The other thing that I realized straight away is your ability to create the perfect remote setup, the perfect environment for you. I used to travel for work a lot. Hong Kong, Tokyo, Chicago, Singapore, London, New York. It was a blast because I noticed that with each new environment, I got new ideas as well. There is something about changing things around that helps you see new solutions. Since then, my work environment has gone smaller, much smaller. It's now bedroom, living room, kitchen, office. And here is where the Vision Pro comes in. Just getting up and walking around or do a bit of work in another room, but with your familiar layout or screen, that is a real game changer. And I believe that it truly makes work from home or remote work 
a lot more creative and a lot more fun. And then there is a third point I really appreciated. Privacy in public spaces. Whether you are in a cafe or on a plane, your work remains confidential. Sitting in a plane with your screen in full view of others was a bit awkward. No more. Now I connect my MacBook Pro, the screen turns blank and I'm in my own little world. Talking about airplanes, everybody seems to have an opinion on using the Vision Pro on a plane. And it's often mentioned as the number one use case. So naturally, I tried it out. Excuse me? No, you can't be in that seat with the Vision Pro on. What do you think you are doing here? Get out. Why? Of course, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. This device at 3,600 pounds, which is $4,000, and if you add a few accessories, you are far exceeding that, is not accessible to everyone. I get that. At the same time, there are people who are saying, hey, if money is no object, you should get one. And I think that's a little bit unfair as well. If you're watching this channel, it's very likely you are, are an ambitious, successful professional. And ambitious and successful people, they get wealthy and they stay wealthy by being intentional with their time and their resources. And so that's really the key question for me. How well can you use this tool? Make a simple calculation. If you think that you value your time at $50 an hour and this device makes you more productive, maybe two hours a week, and you multiply that by 52 weeks, then you got $5,200 that you could potentially save. So it's a bargain. But then same time, if you are at your desk, you have got your nice setup and the monitor, and you're satisfied with that, then don't forget, our technology has advanced so much that generally we have everything that we need. Well, then it's just a nice to have and not really need it. So it boils down to you. What I would say is that if you are an individual who travels a lot and also somebody who values privacy while you do so, so on an airplane, in a hotel lobby or wherever, then that extended monitor that you get from your MacBook and where your MacBook is blanked out, that's really, really good. And I think for that alone in my whole career, I definitely would have bought it. So does the Apple Vision Pro justify its £3,600 price tag for boosting productivity for many? The answer is no. Not because it's not an exciting piece of hardware or because of its flaws, but purely because our technology is now so advanced that the tools we have at hand are perfectly sufficient for what we need to do. The Vision Pro has some incredible features that can significantly enhance productivity. What camp do you fall in? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Oh, and if I don't see you before you click on my next video, see you next time. Take care. Dual boot lamp, dual band, dual loop band. The dual boot, oh, gosh, I had the dual band loop, dual, dual loop band. Does it say there? Dual loop band. I could just read it off there, so that would be easier.